how to come back or recover from rejection. The problem that I've been seeing with relationships recently, what I like to call the dark place. The dark place is basically after a certain amount of rejections, after a breakup, you start to downward spiral, the worst, lowest version of yourself. You, you become a doormat. I'm here to save you because I've also been there. The first step, and I see a lot of people making this mistake when they face rejection or breakup, is your input. Don't instantly just start throwing sad music on. Avoid putting on sad music. Avoid watching sad videos, heartbreak, you know, these sad ass quotes that I be seeing on Instagram. Don't wallow in self-pity. Be your motivator. That's kind of one thing that I learned when I dealt with rejection. I always avoided listening to sad music and consuming self-pity content. As a matter of fact, I do the opposite. I listen to inspirational music to motivate me to become better, to not stay in that mind state. Another thing to do is do not self-isolate. Do not just lock yourself up. Nobody understands me. I'm alone. Surround yourself amongst your brothers. Men that you trust. Don't feel pathetic. Don't feel lame. Don't feel weak because you're around your brothers. You're not around that girl that just broke your heart. You're not around people that aren't better beneficial to you and if you don't have those people in point and you're worried about even crying in front of your brothers because you don't want to get laughed at made fun of aha he went through a breakup cut them off they're not the people for you cut them off they're not for you at all because a brother will tell you how it is a brother will make sure that you're taken care of a brother would watch over you and make sure that you're better a way that you can bounce back using that anger using that frustration using that resentment to help you grow they say success is the sweetest revenge you guys remember my last michael b jordan video situations like that i went through my last breakup I was towards the end, I was already consuming a lot of red pill videos and travel videos and vlogs. It just motivated me. It, it really got me in the mindset of, I gotta be better. I gotta be better. I gotta grow. And it helped me take some type of accountability as to I'm not the man that I want to be. I'm not the man that I should have been. And that's probably why this type of situation even happened. Because if I was the man I was, I wouldn't have even messed with somebody like that. And honestly, the way I see it is that you deal with that rejection. You deal with that pain crying about it self-wallowing and self-pity they already moved past it and you're still in the same spot they're growing and happy without you and you're still in the same spot they don't care so why do you you must grow you must expand you must overcome that's what we're made for that's what we're here for when i got out of a relationship i was out of shape i didn't take care of myself if like hygiene wise i didn't have a job my bank accounts would reach like negative when we separated in my eyes it would have been pathetic of me to hold on to it argue with her to cuss her out how could you do this to beg for her back please come back i need you you know i miss us the more you keep tabs the more those feelings are still attached i just don't want to be involved anymore i cut ties if you want to come back like you've never left i took accountability and i was angry yes i had that red pill rage i had resentment and i decided okay what can i do from here what is things that i need to work on how can i grow because my success will be the best revenge and i'm not even going to talk about it i'm gonna just do and it fueled me to become better and i'm grateful for that experience because i would not be where i'm at now i wouldn't have this channel now initially that was my motivation my success is going to be the best revenge i'm gonna make her regret it but then later on i started to take more accountability understand and forgive and then i promised myself that next time decide in your mind do not think never start by searching of how can i find the right one how can i find my soulmate how can i find the one for me the best one my best option the question should be who do i need to become to find the right one for me to be deserving of the person that is in my mind to be deserving of the next time you get into a relationship the mindset should not be how do i find the right one how do i find the best option for me how do i find the baddest girl or anything like that no it should be who do I need to become to attract my ideal person, to attract that woman that I have in my mind that I love? I even have a journal of um, my wife, right? It sounds weird, but I have a journal of characteristics that I like my dream wife to have. But with that, I wrote characteristics that I must have, the man that I need to become to attract a woman like that. That instead became my path to self-improvement. It was no longer about, I'm gonna make her regret it and my success is gonna be the best revenge. How can I set up my future family how can I be the best father, the best husband? How can I set myself up for my future kids and family and the people that I love? And where can I go from there? Moral of the story, it may hurt. You may want to feel that resentment. You might want to feel that hate. You might want to feel that aggression and, you know, curse her out, get mad or beg for her. But there's one thing I want you to keep in mind and it's that it's easier to do the wrong thing than the right thing. You're a lot stronger when you can choose to do the right thing, which is to just move on. Make sure that you don't shut yourself out. Make sure that you don't put yourself in positions in which you can accept negative habits and downward spiral. But make sure that you listen to that hype music. Make sure that you get in the gym and you use those feelings. Use that hurt, use maybe that anger to fuel you, to get better, to move up from there. You already lost something, earn something from it. Talk with your trusted brothers and go out and experience life. 
is too short for you to be tripping over more laps in your life that is not gonna matter 10 to 20 years from now. A little setback from 10 to 20 years from now when you have your true family. What I will say is learn to accept it and to be grateful for the experience because now it has allowed you to become the man that you want to become and that you wouldn't be there without that experience. And that's how you bounce back like you never left. That's how you come back and grow to be a better man. That's pretty much it, man. I'm a little sick, so please forgive me. I already know, but anyways, doesn't matter. Mad love, like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. And yeah, that's pretty much it, man. Peace.